People packed the house tonight at Bartram Springs Elementary School as JEA addressed hundreds of residents and their concerns about a new power project. We've told you about the JEA plans for power poles and transmission lines along Phillips Highway near, near Racetrack Road, and that's near the Bartram Springs subdivision. 1,300 people have signed a petition against the plan, and now JEA is working hard to try and calm fears. Health issues, buzzing power lines, dropping property values. Those are just some of the things people living in southern Duval County are worried about. The noise is going to be a lot louder for us, and we're concerned about that. JEA set up a special meeting Thursday night to bring in experts to answer those concerns and to assure people that they've got nothing to worry about. This group is responsible for planning ahead. We recognize that for all of our customers, their home is likely their largest single investment, so we understand their concerns. What we do know, though, through multiple studies is that this project specifically will yeah. not financially impact any of the customers in this area. According to JEA's website, the company plans to remove trees and vegetation next to Phillips Highway to install power poles. This power line actually will be insulated from the vision of most residents in the Bartram neighborhood. JEA halted the project in order to answer questions and to ease concerns of people who live in Bartram Springs. At least one resident who attended the meeting, though, said he wasn't satisfied with how his questions were addressed. Yeah, I think JEA is prepared for this meeting today, but I think there's a lot of questions that, you know, four or five questions I couldn't get answered today that I brought up. And uh, it seems like different departments didn't know who was going to answer what related to their questions and concerns, and it seems like there are still a lot of unanswered questions. JEA is saying that this project is critical to create redundancy in the power system. It will also increase electric reliability, that is, to homes in the growing South Duval and North St. Johns County area.